what is BDSM and kink for you? It's like, oh, well, how long have you got? <laughs> My name's Kyle, and I'm new to the scene. For me, fetish and BDSM is a means of release, um, a space for acceptance. Uh, not initially. I wasn't sure whether they came from like a good mental health space. I think for what it means to me, like the, the people in the scene, uh, super respectful and like understanding and accepting so that should just be a given in any life whether you're interested or not. I think and I'm probably not on my own saying that most of the time it's very therapeutic and it can be a really good form of release. Uh, I've been told I'm a service top so I'm probably neither. I think that it's very, like a big part of my life, um, even though I'm relatively new to the scene. So having that understanding is, is very important and the open-mindedness. I think there's a welcome anxiety of doing anything new uh, that was there. People are people. Um, in my daily life, there's not too many people that understand it. Um, so it, it, it kind of becomes like suppressed for the most part until I'm with friends who understand. If you look at BDSM as just being another interest, whether it's a sport you like or a type of activity, then it's no different from any normal, I don't like the term vanilla, but or any other relationship. Uh, I'm very lucky with my family. They I'm kind of get unconditional love. And I know it's not the same for everybody, so I mean, society can just do what they want. <laughs> but family, I'm, I'm lucky that they've, they've let me in. So I knew I was into kink from an early age. Like, as a child, putting things up my bum, knowing it feels nice. Um, it kind of worked into bigger toys, fists and stuff, you know. you're good enough, like don't beat yourself up, take your time, the right opportunity will come about if, if you let it. <laughs>